Wild horses are a symbol of beauty and freedom. They belong to the American people. Wild horses need to be protected and not eliminated. <laughs> Our government, the Bureau of Land Management, BLM, wastes millions of dollars destroying thousands of horses. Cattle, oil, and mining industries control our public lands, and they want these wild horses gone. Craig Downer has a vision to save the American wild horse. I was uh, born in Nevada, and I grew up among the wild horses, and I came to, to really admire the, the spirit and magnificent of the of free living horses, and, and burros too. I became uh, involved with Wild Horse Ante to save these animals and to gain their respect among the general public and among the, especially among the government and uh, ranchers who were persecuting them and hunters. So I grew up on a Mustanger uh, horse named Poco and we had many wonderful adventures. I developed a great bond with this horse but I also felt that he, he yearned to be free and to be with his own kind. And I just, I started delving into uh, the history of, of the horse family in North America and their ecological niche. And I learned that they're actually one of the most anciently rooted and that they fulfill a wonderful niche, uh, as does their kind, the burrow, who also originated in North America. And I became very concerned about their persecution. Uh, both before and after the law, the Wild Free Roaming Horses and Burrows Act was passed. They are a vital component of the ecosystem who complement the other species. And I became very identified with these animals because of their beauty and their magnetism, you might say. I became their champion, like, became very identified with them. Uh, consequently, I grew very resentful of, of the lies and the prejudice uh, misinformation campaign, which was aimed at, uh, at displacing them from their, their natural freedom. Uh, so I vowed to, to start right. And that's why I wrote this book, The Wild Horse Conspiracy, which took me over four years to write. I feel that if enough people truly read my book and take it to heart, it will make big positive difference for these wonderful animals and that people can learn to share freedom in the land with, with such wonderful animals because they deserve it. And I urge people to read my book, The Wild Horse Conspiracy. You can get it on Amazon.com and it's now an e-book and you can get it in color for a very reasonable price. So. Um, Please contact me. I'm trying to get support to do a reserve design proposal now, which will present to the government and outline the areas where we can create uh, natural, complete habitats for long-term viable populations, and it will be naturally self-sustaining and naturally self-stabilizing. We also talked to horse rancher Nick Ilya. These horses are being used for one thing, greed and money and there's no call for what for this horses are uh, indispensable part of uh, our ecosystem that they are healers that they heal both the ecosystem and people that we cannot uh, disregard them or their need to be free and to live in their their natural habitat that this is a uh, crucial challenge for us, and that if we fail at this, we will fail at a very uh, major level, and, and that this will, will carry with it dire consequences. Mm -hmm.